The Tale of Peter Rabbit. Adapted from the original story by Beatrix Potter. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits. I'm Flopsy. I'm Mopsy. I'm Cottontail. And I'm Peter Rabbit. They lived with their mother in a sandbank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Sometimes, before running off to play, the good little bunnies helped their mother with the chores. And sometimes they helped her fix something to eat for their supper. One morning, they found a berry bush full of berries. Mm -hmm, these are just ripe enough. And juicy and sweet, too. What a yummy supper we'll have tonight, Mama. Yes, we will, my dear. Everyone helped. That is, except Peter. Peter wanted to play hide-and-seek. Mopsy, come and play. Oh, Peter, can't you ever help with the chores? Cottontail, I bet you want to play hide-and-seek. Peter, you should be picking berries, too. Picking berries in the hot sun is hard work. Besides, I know a place where the picking is easy. Mr. McGregor's garden. When Peter's mama heard him say Mr. McGregor's garden, she called all the children together. Peter, come here. All of you children listen very carefully. You must remember never ever to go anywhere near Mr. McGregor's garden. Why, Mama? Why? Why not? Oh. Because that's why your father had a terrible accident. Mrs. McGregor put him in a pie. <gasps> How awful. Oh, that's scary. Poor Papa. Mama, we'll stay far, far away from Mr. McGregor's garden. Freddy Cat, Freddy Cat, you're scared of your own shadow. I am not. Hush, Peter. Now you two behave yourselves. And Peter, don't forget. You may go into the fields and down the lane, but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Oh, Mama. Now come along. I need four sturdy little helpers to carry goodies home from the bakery. So Mrs. Rabbit grabbed her umbrella and they all skipped <laughs> through the wood to the baker's. Good morning, Mrs. Rabbit. What will you have today? Those currant buns smell fresh. Just out of the oven. I'll take five then, and a loaf of brown bread. And where are the little ones today? They're right down the lane playing. <laughs> Mrs. Rabbit was right about Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. But as she looked out the bakery door... Oh, dear. Where is that naughty Peter? Peter was hopping straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden. I love carrot tops better than lollipops and peas, if you please. Instead of bread and cheese, McGregor's got an acre full of crunchy treats for me. Whee! Mr. McGregor's garden. That'll be an easy gate to slip under. Stay away, Peter. It's not safe here. Peter ignored the warning and scrunched underneath the gate. Whoopee! A carrot! Mmm! Mmm! Tasty radishes! And crunchy lettuce! Peter wandered up and down the rows, tasting everything. Oh, boy! Munchy French beans! In fact, Peter gobbled so much, so fast, that all at once... Oh, I have a terrible tummy ache. I, I think it was the radishes. Or the turnips. Or those three cabbages. Peter limped off to find a place to lie down. But no sooner had he rounded a cucumber vine than whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor. Mr. McGregor turned and... What's this? A rabbit in my garden? Stop, thief! Stop! I'll pop you in a pie when I catch you! Oh, I've got to get out of here! You'll never get away! Where can I hide? Help! You varmint! Stop, I say! Peter ran helter-skelter through the garden. Where's the gate? Oh! He lost one shoe among the cabbages and the other among the potatoes. Then he ran smack into a gooseberry net. My buttons are caught! Mr. McGregor's gonna pop me in a pie for sure! Oh! We'll help you! Oh, please hurry! He's coming! Hold still, son! Now, where is that scoundrel? Hurry, hurry! Aha! There he is. I'll sneak up and pop this sieve over him. Easy does it. Pecking, plucking, and pulling, the sparrows made a hole in the net. Just in time, too, for... Aha! I've got 
share your thieving, little rodent. Oh, thank goodness. All I got was my jacket. I'm free. Come back, you beast. I'll get you. Just wait. A tool shed. If I can just make it in time. Oh, there must be some place to hide. Peter jumped into a watering can. Ugh. This would have been a great place to hide if it wasn't full of water. Uh, 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 uh. Peter jumped out and hid behind a flower pot. I know you're in here. I can hear your sneaky little rabbit nose twitching. Uh, 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 He's here all right, but, but where? Achoo! There you are! Back and forth, Peter ran, sniffing for a way out. A window! Here goes! Mr. McGregor grabbed for him and missed. Uh, I'm too big to get through. Crack, that rabbit is a pest. Hot from running and furious at Peter, Mr. McGregor went back to work. Sneaky little monster, messing up my garden. Where am I? Oh, how do I get out of here? Oh, I wish I'd listened to Mama. Lost and scared, Peter suddenly noticed an old mouse running in and out through a door in the garden wall. Please, Mrs. Mouse, which way to the gate? But she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could only shake her head. As she hurried away, Peter bravely set out across the garden. I have to find a way out! A cat! Cousin Benjamin Bunny warned me about cats! Peter tiptoed away, back towards the tool shed. If I could just get up on something to get a good view of the garden, I could see the gate. He spotted a wheelbarrow, scurried over and leaped on top. Sure enough, the gate. Oh, but I'm going to have to make a dash for it right past Mr. McGregor. Oh, my heart is beating so hard. I'm sure Mr. McGregor can hear it. All right, here goes. As Peter streaked past the black currant bushes... Oh, it's you again. I have you now. Peter burst under the gate as Mr. McGregor's hole crashed down, just missing his tail. If you ever come back again, I'll brown you, pop you in a pie, and teach you to swim in gravy. I'm free! I'm free again! Safe in the woods, Peter took one last look at the garden. Mr. McGregor was hanging up his beautiful new blue jacket and red shoes. Ah, this'll make a scarecrow to frighten off those pesky rodents. <laughs> oh, what am I going to tell Mama about my new jacket? Peter never stopped running until he got home to the big fir tree. His mother was cooking dinner. He could tell she was very angry and very worried. Peter, where have you been? Yeah, Peter, where were you? Where is your new jacket? And your new shoes. Did you lose them again? You worry about your own problems, Cottontail. Peter will talk about that after he washes up for supper. But Peter was so tired, all he could do was lie on the sandy floor of his own safe rabbit hole. Peter did not feel well, so Mama tucked Peter into bed. Peter, here is some chamomile tea for your tummy. One tablespoon to be taken at bedtime. Peter snuggled under the quilt. I can see how happy you are to be safe in your own little bed, Peter. Oh, Mama, it was most dreadful to be chased by Mr. McGregor. Peter shivered as he remembered Mr. McGregor's scarecrow. Peter, Peter, that's the second jacket and pair of shoes you've lost in a fortnight. Peter's mother kissed him goodnight and closed the door. Then she gave Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail bread and milk and blackberries for supper. Boy, am I glad I have Mama and sisters and a brother and a good safe rabbit hole. Far, far from Mr. McGregor.